Well, this is due tonight after six years on the job. Rhode Island Education Commissioner Deborah Gist will be moving on next month. She sat down with political reporter Bill Rapley to talk about her stay in Rhode Island and the future of schools in the Ocean State. From the very beginning, Deborah Gist had disagreements with the teachers' unions. Following federal guidelines, she supported the firing of 75 Central Falls teachers in early 2010, and she believes that set a tone that continued to this day. And Gist thinks the union attitude in this state is more about claiming victory than educating children. Who, who will win and trading of, well, you know, we didn't get something from the General Assembly last session, so we need to get something this session, and the sort of um, trading around that... Um, starts to be a little bit less about what's the right thing to do, how do we do it together, and more about um, bargaining. She says one example of where this dynamic did not serve the students is in the area of assessment testing. It was kneecap, now it's park, but she says there was little productive discussion, and the result at present is unsatisfactory. We have to address the fact that there is too much testing going on in some of our schools. Test scores have improved, graduation rates are up, she believes the state is on an improving track when it comes to education, and she'd like to believe that she at least helped in one thing. Education is now very firmly on the top of the priority list. Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News. And you can see all of Bill's interview with Education Commissioner Deborah Gist this Sunday on 10 News Conference beginning at 11.30 a.m. or watch it anytime on turn2.com.